Hey there, this is Akshan and welcome back to a new video. In the last video, we saw this huge example of inheritance. We saw a single inheritance, we saw hierarchical inheritance, right? Now in this video, we are going to see constructors in inheritance, right? So I'm going to just delete every, everything and we always start with a uh, with an example from the start, right? We don't need to, I, I should not use the previous examples because if you are watching this video for the first time uh, and you did not watch the, sec the previous video, it should not matter, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create a void min function as usual, right? And this void min function is going to do something and I'm going to code it later. And I'm going to have a class electronics, right? And this is my parent class, right? and it is going to have certain properties, right? Let's say double height, by default it is 56. Let's say double width, by default let's say it is also 56 and double thickness, by default it is also 56, right? Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to have a child class, let's say class mobile phone, which is going to extend my electronics class electronics class. Now this mobile phone also is going to have these three properties, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create an object of this mobile phone class. So mobile phone, mobile phone is equal to mobile phone, right? This is a simple object, right? Let's just format it. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I am you already know about constructors, right? Constructor is the first function that gets called whenever my object is being created, right? Or instantiated, right? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to define a constructor for this mobile phone class. This is how you define constructors. No doubt in this, right? We have already seen this, right? Now in this mobile phone constructor, I'm going to say print, this is a mobile phone constructor right whenever I, if i'm going to call it what is going to happen this is going to get printed this is a mobile phone constructor because this is the function that gets called whenever my object is instantiated no doubt in this now this is also a class electronics class is also a class that means i can have a constructor in this electronics class now that constructor is actually going to be the constructor of my parent class because this electronics is actually my parent class this mobile phone is my child class right let's create a constructor of my parent class electronics and i'm going to print in this this is a electronics constructor perfect if i just run it what is going to happen you see you see the result this is an electronics constructor. This is a mobile phone constructor. What is happening over here? I'm calling the instance of this mobile phone. Okay, it is coming over here. Mobile phone, it is saying, hey, this class is a constructor. I need to run this constructor function. We're going to print this. But what is happening over here? As this mobile phone is a child of this electronics class, so first of all, it is going to go to the parent class. So it is going to say, hey, before this constructor gets called, I should see my parent class. So it is going to go to my parent class. And it is going to see that, hey, this electronics class also has a constructor. And in this constructor, I need to print this statement. So first of all, it is going to serve the parent and, and it is going to run the parent constructor and then the child constructor. So whenever your parent class also has certain uh, things that you need to perform in the constructor, then the parent class constructor will be called first, then the child class constructor function will be called, right? Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to show you a keyword in Dart that is called super. If I just do it like this, it is not going to change anything. This was already here. But even if you don't write it, that's totally fine. But what is the significance of this? I'm going to tell you. This super says that, hey, before this constructor, you also need to check the constructor of my super class. My electronics is my super class this is my child class or subclass so first of all go to my super class run that constructor then go then come and 
run the function of my run the constructor of my child class or my subclass so this is already present but you don't need to write it when do you have to write it i'll tell you if i just run it the result is going to be the same let's see yes it is the same result what if your constructor has a parameter let's say in this mobile phone you need to uh, input you need to input from the user which mobile phone is this right of which brand right so in this i'm going to get string string model right now this needs a parameter so let's say this is a mobile phone s23 right s23 right and if i just run it nothing but if i say just also print the model which i'm passing right just run it s23 what if my parent class constructor also has a parameter so let's say this takes a brand of which brand is this electronics item right so i'm going to take a brand and i need to print this brand over here brand if i just run it you are going to see okay yes now is now it's an error because you are expecting a constructor parameter for this electronic class constructor but you have not passed anything over here so if you just remove this super this is going to give you an issue right you can see it needs a it's need it needs to pass a variable it needs to pass a parameter to my uh, parent class constructor my electronics class constructor right so i need to define super over here there is no choice uh, with me that i don't write the super you have to write a super and you yes you you do need to pass the parameter now where from where i'm going to get the parameter just add a parameter over here get brand also from here right so pass a brand as samsung right samsung and you need you can just pass that uh, brand over here so just pass my brand so this is going to work you can just run it and it is going to run like butter right samsung and s23 this is your parent class or a super class constructor this is a sub class constructor or your child class constructor i hope this was clear this is how you work with constructor whenever you are having inheritance implemented i hope i am clear till the next video keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot